One polar, two polar, three polar, four polar, one polar, two polar, three polar, four polar. Okay. Hey, what's up all you lovely learners out there in learning land? Today we're talking triplets. All right, we're gonna break it down, what it is, and I'm gonna show you how to apply it with a scale exercise, and then I'm gonna show you how to use it to kick off some licks, and I'm gonna show you in a rhythm context. But it's really important to know in general, and you're going to be using this in your soloing and blues a lot. You want a PDF to print out and follow along with tabs, or additional exercises for this one, you can get a PDF here, and that's also for all of our lessons by becoming a Patreon. 10 thumbs t-shirts if you want, Skype lessons one-on-one -on -one if you're interested, but if you came just for this lesson, that's cool, I dig it and I respect it. Why don't you go ahead and grab your brain first before the guitar and we're gonna just talk about what a triplet is. When counting music, if you were to count the quarter tones, you would go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Got a little bit of a boogie in here, do a little dance and I give a little cheer. If you were to count eighth notes, the eighth note is the note between the one and the two, like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And. But a triplet or a triplet is fitting three tones or three notes in that one quarter tone space. So it's like one polar, two polar, three polar, four polar, tripola, 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 tripola. I prefer to count it as tripola, but you might hear other people say tripolet as well. Both are gonna be okay because the idea is there are three syllables that you can count. A good way to practice this is anytime that you hear a song on the radio or something you're just driving, try to count triplet in that space. Triple la, 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 triple la. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and grab the guitar. We still have our brain and attention span and we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on the guitar and we're gonna put these triplets into practice over a scale, the A minor. You should know the A minor. If you don't, there's a link up here to learn the A minor pentatonic scale. And then I'm gonna show you how to use it to kick off a riff. And then I'm gonna show you how to use it in a rhythm context. But the principal idea of this lesson is that you understand what it is, that you start to listen for it, that you practice it, and then eventually you can start to put it in your own improvisation and solo. So why don't we go ahead and zoom in. All right, so we're gonna be doing this in the A minor pentatonic scale. So if you're not familiar with the A minor pentatonic scale, you should check out this video right here where we're gonna go ahead and break that down for you. Um, the A minor is a great scale, a lot of rock and roll in A minor. It's a common key, it's one you're gonna use a lot, okay? So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be looking at a timing called triplet. Now normally, let's just play, if we were to play the scale on the quarter tones, it would go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, If we were to play the scale on the eighth notes, it would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now there's this other timing though called triplet. So what is a triplet? A triplet is when you squeeze in three notes on one beat. So one, two, in that time between one and two, you're gonna play three notes. The best way I found to count it is tripola. Or sometimes if I like to keep it um, track of where I'm at, I go one polar, two polar, three polar, four polar, one polar, two polar, three polar, four polar. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to be doing is just playing through the scale nice and easy, and you're going to be tapping your foot on the one, two, three, and four, but we're going to be squeezing in three notes in that time. One polar, two polar, three polar. Okay, so we're just gonna play up to this A note right here, and it's gonna sound like this. One polar, two polar, three polar, four polar, one. Okay, again a little slower. One polar, two polar, three polar, one polar, one. Let's try it again, just a little slower. One polar, two polar, three polar, four polar, one. You're gonna use this a lot in soloing, so that's one thing you should just practice going up and down that scale in triplets. Tripola, 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 one. That's gonna be really fundamental. So that way you can mix it with um that way you can mix it with some other hot licks. And that's mixing swing time triplets 
and regular time. So practice that and then incorporate it in your improvisation. But another thing where it's gonna be really tasty is going to be, for example, like a kickoff to a solo, something like this. So let's just focus on that kickoff. A lot of times the blues is gonna come in before the first beat. So on the fourth beat, you're gonna do something like four polo one. The seventh fret of the D string, to the fifth fret of the G string, seventh fret of the G string, back to the fifth fret of the G string, triple low one. And then you're right here in this box, and you can do a lot of cool things after that, triple low one. Okay, so it's a great way to kick off solos as well. And you're gonna see it in blues rhythm. We did a blues shuffle that looks something like this. And what I'm doing there is put my pinky on the seventh fret of the D string, fourth fret of the G string, seventh fret of the G string, and then I'm barring the fifth fret of both the G and the B, and then hammering onto the sixth fret of the G and playing 7-7 seven, seven on those same two strings. Back to 5-5, five, five, and then up to 7 to finish it off. So in context, it'd be like 1, 2, 3, 4 polo, 1, and 2, and 4 polo, 1, and 2, and All right, so that's mixing again the triplets, the swing time, with the shuffle. So that's another way you can do it. But you're going to see it a lot. Solos, the solo for Layla in Clapton's full of these things. The whole blues rhythm. The whole boogie is tripola, tripola. And you're not really playing the po too. So you're going to need to get these down in your playing. You're going to need to practice that scale and that timing. And then you're going to start to use them in your improvisation, okay? All right, everybody. Thank you so much for checking it out. 10thumbspro.com. Love, peace, and chicken grease, my friends. Keep on rocking and rolling because life is good. Love you. Thank you so much for being out there. Thank you for learning with us. I said that twice. And until next time, triple, 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 triple. You're tripping, mate. All right. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Yeah.